Hey guys, what's up YouTube? This is Asher. Today is Thursday, January 30th, 2014. Oh my god, I almost said 2013. Alright, so today's real quick video because I gotta head out and uh, go watch Andrea Gibson. Y'all, if y'all don't know who she is, uh, you need to go check it out like right now. Like pause the video and go look up some of her stuff. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to videotape um, some of the performance tonight. Uh, hopefully that goes up on my personal channel. I don't know if they'll allow that, but we will find out. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And so that's why I feel all spiffy right now. Um, so yeah, Andrea Gibson is a poet and she's just awesome. Um, but today we're not talking about poetry. We are talking about something else that begins with P and it is porn. Pornography, adult sexual encounters filmed and sold or distributed to the populace for sexual entertainment and gratification. Bam! Alright, so, porn, porn in general. My thoughts on porn in general are, yay. Uh, <laughs> I do watch porn, I enjoy porn. When I want to, like, be by myself and enjoy it, I will watch it. And that is okay, ladies and gentlemen, is just fine. Um, but today we're dealing with people that are transgender in the porn industry. Now, I am going to stick with my own personal beliefs and views. Um, and I've seen some of the other guys' videos on this channel. And uh, someone mentioned um, another, like, a person that was in the FTM porn, um, it rhymes with yuck, that's this guy's name, uh, I will never watch anything of his, and if you don't, um, or if you do, and, uh, you are not well educated on some of the stuff that he has, um, said and done, I will only suggest that you go and figure it out, uh, on your own, but I will never watch anything of his, um, not for any other reason, but, that I don't agree with what has come out of his mouth and what he has done to the trans community. Um, other than that, I think someone's trying to come in the door. I really wish they would hurry, 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 get in the door and go away. Um, so anyway, take the dogs with you too. Uh, so, but yes, I like porn and I agree with the idea that trans guys and girls should be in porn if they want to be. It's an adult decision. Uh, I may watch it or I may not watch it. I, um, I'm i not going to go deliber deliberately looking for that to enjoy myself. Um, I watch all kinds of different porn and it, it really, it's just whatever I'm in the mood for. Um, so I think I mean, I don't know really what to say, except for that I think all porn can be enjoyable. I mean, to a limit. Come on, let's not get crazy. Uh, what floats your boat, floats your boat. Make sure it's not illegal. Um, and other than that, I really don't care. <laughs> I don't care if, you know, if two people are adults or if one person, sometimes there's a solo scene, uh, is an adult and, you know, able to make the right choices and do what they need to do to do what they want to do whatever, I really don't care, <laughs> I hope that you guys have a, you know, a wonderful time looking through, um, different tags and stuff, because there's a lot more than meets the eye in queer and FTM porn, um, some guys do it with their girlfriends or boyfriends, uh, to try to raise money for top surgery, and I think that's great, and, um, if you take off your clothes, uh, pre-T, post-T, pre-op, post-op, uh, whatever floats your boat and you're comfortable with your body and you're comfortable doing that, then that's all good. It does make does not make you any less trans if you can take off your top and show your pre-op chest in a pornographic film. So what? Let them do it if they're comfortable with it. It doesn't mean that they don't want top surgery eventually. It doesn't mean that they're not dysphoric. Um, so quit hating, quit shaming, quit doing all that, uh, be an adult and realize that if you're uncomfortable with that, then you don't have to watch that. And it's that simple. You don't have to hate on them. Um, honestly, yes. After I have top surgery, 
I will probably take a shitload of topless pictures because I will finally be comfortable with myself and I will be like, oh my god, thank you so much, and I'll be happy. Um, I saw some stuff yes yesterday or the day before on Tumblr, and it was called the trans, oppressive trans guy meme, uh, or meme, or whatever, and one of them was, please help me fundraise so that I can take uh, a billion topless photos after my top surgery, and I was like, wow, that is a really mean thing to say, because so what, like, I see a bunch of cis guys and cis women out on the beach or taking selfies and so forth, um, God forbid we actually be comfortable with our bodies, I mean, isn't that the whole point, like, that's the point, um, so yeah, uh, I would totally take naked pictures after top surgery. I, I have no problem with that. And if my partner was okay with it, um, or if uh, I wasn't in a relationship, or whatever the circumstances may be, um, and I was post-op, because for me that's a personal preference, post-op surgery is my thing, uh, I would be more than happy to go rock it with um, some porn. I would have no problem doing that. I would be actually pretty proud and be like, yay, I worked really hard for this body and it's finally what I want it to be and plus I like sex and I'm a sexual being. I'm an adult and I can make these choices for myself and I just happen to be trans. And so yes, I will make trans porn and I will make whatever I want to do and so forth and blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I have to say. Um, I'm actually far too excited to continue talking, um, because Andrea Gibson, y'all, I gotta go and I will talk to y'all later and I hope you have a great week and blah, 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 blah. all right, later. Bye. Love you. Blah.